Hola, and thanks for tuning in for High Plains Passport. Last week on High Plains Passport, we met two children from Honduras, Natalia and Rodrigo. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the rest of the Fernandez family, their parents, Omar and Gloria. For nearly half a decade, they have been the backbone of an orphanage in Siguatepeque. Did I say orphanage? Excuse me. We don't like to use the word orphanage. For us, it's a home. The word orphanage is just bring to mind a cold, sad place. One could barely tell that these children, in one form or another, have been abandoned by their parents, which makes that cut even deeper and the scar even harder to conceal. And some parents are just not fit to be parents, so they come to us very damaged, not only physically, but also spiritually and emotionally, yeah. They think they're just going to repeat their parents' lives, and, and it just it's hard, but it's possible. You don't have to make the same choices your parents made. The fact is that it is feasible. We can choose to not be bound by our past. We can transcend above troubles. We don't see them as a burden. We see them as a blessing and as a way of guiding someone in life. Is this a future criminal? No, we never think that way. You know, we always uh, think that they are going to have wonderful lives and they're going to be able to to change this country. By revitalizing the lives of 41 otherwise homeless Honduran children, they are revolutionizing their country. Here's how it all started. Uh, Started after Hurricane Mitch, which happened in 1998, and it devastated the country. I mean, over 10,000 people died, Mm -hmm. and many uh, children were left orphans. So uh, we started renting a home in San Pedro Sula. After a few months, it became too small for all the kids that were coming our way. And so we had to rent a bigger house. And that also, after a couple of years, was insufficient. So we, um, lacking funds, like every, <laughs> every nonprofit organization, and, you know, we looked outside of the big city and, and started looking in small cities in Honduras, and we found this property in Cihuatepeque. They purchased the land, then spent the preceding years turning the house into an unimpaired home. They, they don't share their clothes. They, they have their own things. Mm-hmm. They, ha- they have a sense of ownership, just like any regular kid. And, and that gives them dignity, that gives them self-worth. Now that the home is complete... Their efforts are being expanded outside to a garden. Last year, they cultivated over 150 pounds of coffee. They also have half an acre of plantains and other growing commodities for consumption. They even have the groundwork plans for the next project, a community clinic to treat minor injuries, essentially to help the lives of yet even more members of humanity. We believe um, that would us in our heart to work with these kids. It's not that we're good. Um, We feel that we were placed on this earth to make a difference. Uh, You know, our time on this earth is, it passes by so quickly that if you haven't left a mark in this world, you know, what have you accomplished? At some point, this beautiful devastation hit me hard, really hard. It's really amazing what you guys are doing. Thank you. Those tears mean a lot to us. Edward Abbey once wrote that sentiment without action is the ruin of the soul. There are no ruined souls here. No burdens, only blessings. High Plains Passport is written and produced by Valerie Smith for High Plains Public Radio. Music from Jose Gonzalez and yours truly. Learn more about the Casa Jugar online by contacting Vida y Libertad Honduras at yahoo.es. See a video collection of the Casita and the kids on our website, hppr.org, where you can also sign up for podcasts.